I've been driving through Ohio today and I assume I'm in a place called Dark County. I saw the small cemetery beside the road and the sign said something like Dark County Home Cemetery. Not exactly sure what that means, but by the looks of the markers and the way they all look similar, I feel like there's a backstory to this and it, um, it started the wheels churning, so to speak. I want to find out a little bit more about it. You know, when I walked over here, one thing that caught my eye immediately, now some of the markers have been marked, but you can tell that was in recent years where a name or some other sort of plaque, especially for the veterans, has been added. But on most of these markers are just numbers, like number one, number two, number three, and I'll show some of that in the video, but like I said, I really feel like there's a backstory to this. I want to capture it while I'm here, because who knows when I'll be back this way again, but I feel like there is some history here that needs to be captured, and that is what I am doing. I'm just doing a little narration here from behind the camera. Normally when I talk, it's in front, uh, and I normally have background music, but I, I want to show you all this. You can see this is what I was talking about uh, on this particular stone, number 34, and I mean, you walk on down the line here, you'll see what I'm talking about uh, again. If you can see that number, I guess it's 35. Yeah, it is. So we're going in the right order. Just making sure I was in the right order. So 36, and of course 37, and so forth. Um, this is really, it's a little, I mean, honestly, it's a little heartbreaking because, I mean, it's sad. I mean, every one of these stones, you know, represents a person, and they're just numbered. You know, some of these, like I said, it looks to me like looking over here at this one, someone has went back and added a name. So I'm sure it's through through some sort of research. You know, this one's a war veteran, you can see right here. So, I mean, obviously this is an, an older cemetery, but um, I'm gonna be doing my research on this and towards the end of the video, if I figure out what it is, then I will I will share that. But again, you can see right here, I mean, number, this poor soul, just a number, number 15. I mean, this cemetery only has a handful of graves here. I mean, let me kind of pull back. This is its, this is the entirety. This is it, and I'm sure some of you who are from this area will know exactly what this is. I'm not, I'm from Kentucky. I'm about three and a half hours away from where I live, so I don't know. Um, I normally focus on famous graves, but you know this one really caught my eye. And uh, while I'm here, I do wanna honor a few veterans. Charles Frank, veteran of the Civil War, James Perry, veteran of the Civil War, and I'm sure there's probably been some sort of veterans group or maybe the, some family members of uh, some of these people who's came back and done the research and found out who they are. But, I don't know, like I said, it's just a little, little sad, a little heartbreaking. Jacob Williams, veteran of the Civil War, so, um, but again, a lot of these are just represented by simple numbers and how sad it is that, you know, some of these folks are just, just immortalized as a number. So it's, uh, it's different, but I thought it'd be interesting for my viewers to see, interesting for me to see, albeit a little, little sad, a little heartbreaking, but this is history nonetheless. Okay, so I have done, I've went back and I have done a little research on this. And to be honest, I have found maybe some evidence that this was burials from people that were in a poor house, maybe the unclaimed. I don't really know, honestly. Uh, I found one website that may have suggested that, but really no concrete or hard evidence supporting that theory. So I am turning to you, my viewers. Does anyone know what this is? Please drop me a comment below. Let me know, and I would love to hear from you. Thank you.